How's it going, everybody? Hope y'all are doing well. It's been a it's been a couple of days since so I made a video on this channel, so figured I would uh, check in with you and share some things I've been seeing, and 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 just we'll discuss some stuff, right? Um, you know, we've been talking about AI and um all of that stuff, but how about how about humanoid robots? Apparently, China China just did a a thirty seven million dollar deal to uh to deploy humanoid robots to the border. It's crazy these things. Apparently, supposedly, these things can uh, hot swap their own batteries so they can keep keep going forever, basically, you know, 20, 24-7 surveillance, I guess, you know. Um, I don't know what else they can do, you know, apparently they can lift like 30 pounds per arm. So they have some capabilities. Uh, and I, I don't know, you know, it's a real company, uh, UB Tech, you can look it up. I'll leave, a, I'll leave an article so you can kind of look at the stuff I'm, I'm talking about, but... Um, it's just interesting to me, you know, it's like, well, while, while America can't figure out what a border is, you know, and, uh, uh, China's good. They're going to deploy robots. So I wonder how long it's going to be until, you know, somebody decides to do that here. But apparently that they're looking at those things for airports and, um, like major events and things like that as well, you know? So how long is it going to be until you're walking around and there's like a robot, you know, watching you, making sure you're doing all the right things, making sure you're not doing any of the wrong things. Um, yeah, the future is interesting, guys. You know, there's actually a company, I mean, there's a major car company that, you know, has a has a manufacturing facility here in the United States that's testing humanoid robots on um, the assembly line. You know, and uh, it seems like it seems like in the next year or two, this thing's going to really, really heat up. We've got um, all kinds of, co every company you can imagine, you know, Tesla's making the robots, uh, Figure, what is it, the other one's uh, Neo, uh, the Neo robot. But there's a lot of different, you know, ones in development. I mean, so many so, to the point where China, you know, they're talking about, they're concerned that it's going to be a bubble because there's so many companies involved in all this. And, uh, you know, a bubble, guys, it doesn't mean that um, if they had a, a humanoid robotics bubble, it doesn't mean that that they're not going to exist. It means there's so much saturation in the market um, that uh, they're almost sure to exist, you know, in the future. So, yeah, it's just very interesting, you know, and um, it just means it's probably slower rollout of the products, but you know, you look at the dot com bubble, right? I and mean, we, the internet's all everything now. You know, um, it's just that there are a few different, as far as websites, there are a few major players that kind of like control everything. But uh, you know, it's it's um, it's kind of solidified itself in our society, and so it makes you wonder what's going to happen with these humanoid robots. You know, and uh, they're they're like marketing a lot of this stuff. To, to people as, you know, this is going to be your helper around the house. This is going to be your little buddy that you could talk to. Of course, they're going to be integrated with AI. So it'd be like talking to a chat bot, um, but it's embodied. It's like embodied AI, right? AI that can reach out and, and touch you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's interesting times we're living in. Interesting times. Now, I mean, I'm, there's some good uses for these things. You know, I was talking to a buddy here on YouTube yesterday on one of my other live streams on another channel, and uh, yeah, he pointed out that you could, yeah, these things can go in and like clean up mold. And uh, I was thinking about like asbestos buildings with, that were built with asbestos and things like that. You send in the robots, right? And uh, that's a good use for these things. Uh, I try to find the the positives because it looks like it's going to be coming. Um, but how long is it until, you know, you go to a restaurant or something and you order and it's like literally a humanoid robot or you go into a hotel and a humanoid robot gives you your key cards or whatever for your room. Um, <laughs> it's going to be interesting times. It's going to be interesting times. Um, and another thing is, is like, while we can't, you know, we're having a hard time keeping everybody employed in our country. All that's happening. Um, it looks like these robots and AI itself, AI agents are replacing a lot of a lot of jobs. A lot of people went to college 
to get these degrees for, you know, various different skill sets or whatever. And now you can train AI agents to do all that. So a lot of jobs are going to be probably, uh, probably, probably removed from the, the market for human beings in the future. And I, I don't know, I don't know exactly what it's going to look like, you know, um, but I don't know if we're ready for that, you know, as, as people, are, are people ready for that? Uh, we talked, we were talking about yesterday, you know, it's going to be definitely, uh, you know, carpenters and electricians and mechanics will probably still have jobs for a long time. I don't know if that would ever go away to the robots, but, you know, they sold technology as uh, it's going to, you're going to, you're going to be allowed to do your artistic work, your philosophical things you know, all that, they're just going to do all the hard labor. And it seems about just about the opposite, but now it's coming for some of the labor too. Uh, it's coming for some of the labor to um, factory jobs. You know, they talk about moving all these factories back to the United States and everything. And it's like, it looks like they're going to be ready to have robots do a lot of that work, right? So how many jobs are these new factories going to provide? Yes, yeah, so they're going to be jobs building the factory, but actually working in the factory is it going to be you know a humanoid robot or even a non-humanoid robotics i'll be honest with you guys the humanoid robots freak me out a little bit um you know let's just make it look like a tin can or something you know uh, a little less c3po and a little more r2d2 would be nice right if we're gonna have to have them i'm not completely against robots but these things are gonna be embodied ai so if ai freaks you out or if you think wow this is you know crazy stuff imagine it's gonna have a body now so be walking around <laughs> let me know what you guys think in the comments i was just thinking about that um i'll leave, I'll leave a link for the you know so you can look at the the ub tech the chinese robots and then they're they're going crazy in china like so many companies are working on these things in all different facets of of life you know that these things can be implemented and uh looks like 2026 and 2027 are gonna be very interesting years and we'll see if this is going to actually catch on or not but it seems like a lot of money is being poured into this a lot like the ai thing it's almost like they go hand in hand what happens when there's millions and millions of these things all right just something to think about for the day, man. Let me know what you guys think. If you know something about this that uh, I don't, because uh, I, I don't know much about it. I just, you know, I just read those articles, and uh, I mean, I've been looking into it. I've been looking into the, you know, the figure um, robots and the, uh, you know, this this situation with the, you know, China's rolling out a lot of this stuff. But are we going to start seeing this here in America, or or is this uh, far off in the future? Let me know what you think. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm going to end it here, and uh, have a great day.